Hey guys, Aaron Gerard Zanetti here. Today I will be showing you how to make a grilled mac and cheese sandwich. And for this recipe, you're gonna need mac and cheese, two slices of bread, and some vegan butter, or regular butter if you prefer it. And the first step you're gonna want to do is butter the bread. and get an even layer of butter on the bread, like so. Or get both layers of bread buttered. One second. Just gonna grab the cutting board. And now that both sides of the bread are buttered, it is now time to put it in the pan. And this is optional, but you can also opt to reduce the heat if you want, but... And now to set the timer for 30 seconds on each side. Uh, turns out it needed an extra 30 seconds to get golden brown, so... So I will wait 30 more seconds before flipping it. I'll also mention that my sole purpose for buttering both sides of the bread is so that way it gets crispy on each side and you get like that crisp texture on each side. So that's my reason. One of the slices of bread needed a little bit longer to cook so I'll give it an extra 30 seconds. before I either flip it or whatever. Look at how nice and golden brown that bread is. Now it's time to make the mac and cheese. I have this brand, it's called Cheese Club, which ma mac and cheese, which you can find at Aldi. And with this mac and cheese, you let it boil, you let the water start to boil and then pour this in and then set the timer for 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes. I'll do 10, but then I'll drain it and then sh assemble the sandwich. Now that the water is boiling, all we have to do is pour the macaroni in like so. and let it sit, but occasionally stir it. But set the timer for 10 minutes, stir it, stir it a little bit, and then let it sit and cook. Pasta or macaroni is almost done, but the bread was getting cold, so I decided to put it in the toaster oven to try to keep it warm. Pasta's done, all that's left to do is drain it and add the cheese. Just 
feel some, it would appear that there's still some macaroni stuck to the pot. pot. Yeah, that, that happens sometimes. No big deal, just gotta get it out. left to do is put the cheese in like this and then mix it mix it up get all that golden deliciousness in there It is time to mix it until it is evenly coated and evenly distributed in the cheese. Incorporated enough, and now it is a t assembly time for the sandwich. Move the, move the clementines. There we go. Mac and cheese tastes good. That was not an even cross section, but whatever. It is what it is. And look at that. A grilled mac and cheese sandwich what do you guys think was this a good idea or not let me know down in the comments thank you guys for watching as always see you guys in the next video